Hello, this is Veteran0121, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Today we are going to go white water rafting, I think. Yeah, and if Bannon dies at any time during this journey, then it's game over. So yeah, that's the handicap for this area. Holy crap! Wow, they didn't fucking talk about this shit in the brochure. Uh, yeah. fucking sue these guys for false advertising. Yeah, and they like to use ink on your characters. Luckily, I don't use physical attacks, so that really doesn't mean anything to me. Thankfully, the blindness status does not affect skills for the most part. Um, yeah, let's go left. And we got some more vanilla enemies here. Uh, yeah, the lesser Lopras up there can cast a fireball on your party, so yeah, you wanna you wanna watch out for that. They got a little bit more HP than most of the enemies in this area. But luckily I took it out pretty quick, so didn't have to worry about it. Get Prey going there. Just die. Always like that when they uh, attack themselves. And the game decides it wants to give you a save point, but I'm not worried about that, so I'm gonna keep going. Probably gonna regret that too if I end up dying. Well, actually, I'm not too worried about the main party. I'm worried about Bannon, because, yeah, his. If he dies, if he gets KO'd, it doesn't matter. You're. The game's over. I, I don't understand the handicap in this area. They can't just use a Phoenix down on Bannon. It's kind of like the handicap in Final Fantasy 13, where if your leader dies, then. It's game over. I don't, I don't understand why they give you a handicap like that, but oh well. That's the way it is, I guess. And I think I go left. Yeah, if I, if I go up, it'll just take you in a circle over and over and over again. So yeah, I don't want to do that. At least I think that's how it goes. I always get confused every time I uh, do this part of the game. Can never decide which way to go, usually. Luckily, I don't have to rely on uh, healing magic in this area because Prey does the job quite well, actually. Okay, yeah, I did make the right choice. 
And why not? I guess I'll save it now. That first save point, meh. Yeah, don't really need it, but I'll save in this one. Wow. <laughs> I'm surprised that didn't throw us off our raft there. Whoa! What the hell is this guy? Alright, it's boss time. We gotta fight Ultras. This is the first of many, many battles against this piece of shit. And pretty much every round you just wanna pray with Bannon. It's weak to fire as well. And I believe it's weak to holy, so yeah, I'm gonna take advantage of that. And he's gonna hit Terra as soon as he says shit like that. Ow! Yeah. Hey, as long as he doesn't hit Bannon, you're good to go. Ow. That was easy. What the hell's going on? Whoa! Eight arm freak! <laughs> How's knowing how is being his brother gonna help him know that he's gonna be alright or not? Whoa. Uh oops. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay, we got scenario time here. Whoa. Choose a scenario, Koopo. Okay, well, yeah, we're controlling Mog right now because I guess he's the narrator. We can save at this point, I might as well. Um. Yeah, actually, I'm going to take a pause break now and be right back. Okay, we're back, and uh, the first scenario I'm going to choose here is going to be this one. Just get out of the way. It's it's really short, so it shouldn't matter too much. Okay. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh. Yeah. 
I don't want them to get yeah, in the uh and the rule with Bannon if he dies, like gets KO'd and it's game over, yeah, that rule still applies uh during this part right here. So yeah, you don't want Bannon to die. Can we make it? Alright, we made it. And we're gonna go up here to... GAME?! Ugh, you gotta be kidding me, man. Right before I was gonna enter the friggin' town. Why does it always do that? Anyways... Alright, we're back in Narsh, and actually I'm gonna take a quick pit stop here, and uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, let's go tell them we're back. Yeah, what of it? Ow! Damn! Violent brutes, aren't they? Damn, now they're kicking around kings and shit. <laughs> it's whatever. Yeah, I hate other dudes too, man. I agree with you with that one. Of course, women don't listen either. Well, anyways. If you go over to this area here. He fiddled with something. I've never seen Locke with a fiddle. Oh, 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 okay, it was a figure of speech. I got it now. He wasn't actually playing with a fiddle. I gotcha. Yeah, if he had a fiddle, he, you know... T well, I suppose a fiddle would be better than a loot. Yeah. You know which character I'm talking about. Luckily, there are no such characters in this game. There are useless characters, mind you. But they're not on the scale as the sp they're not even close to the scale as uh, the Spoony Bard. Uh, let's see here. How far can I get before I have to end the video? Um, yeah, head up here. Oh, what's this? Hmm, interesting. Oh, okay. So we gotta follow the light in order to proceed without getting attacked. But I'm gonna take a pause break now and be right back. Okay, we're back, and after that pause break, I realized I am just about out of time, so, uh, will Terra, Edgar, and Bannon make it, uh, to Nars safely? Well, they are in Nars. Will they make it to the Returner headquarters safely? What's going on with Locke? Uh, what happened to Sabin after he fell from the raft? Find out next time, and let's play Final Fantasy VI. This is Veteran0121. See you next time.